Hey guys, this is the Balkan Architect and in today's tutorial I will be showing you how to model this cool looking cliff edge house in Revit. It's quite a cool looking design, it's a house that's on the cliff edge and it's kind of embedded in the in the side of a, this cliff and it has an actual pool for a roof so it's an amazing design and I thought it would be quite a cool project to do just as a Revit exercise. But before I get started I would like to ask you to like this video, it helps me out a lot and if you haven't already I suggest you subscribe because I make tutorials like this every day. So let's get started. I'm going to be using the architectural template for this project and first I always like to set the units and I'm just going to set them to meters because it will be quite a rough project. So first let's set our levels and for that I'm going to go to the south elevation and here we have two levels but I'm going to add two more so for levels just type in double L for level and then I'm going to be using this pick lines tool and I'm just going to offset this by let's offset by two meters for now okay so we have this so first this level 2 I'm going to place it at three meters this level Three will be at 6 meters and the top level will be at 8 meters. So we have kind of the living room kitchen area, we have the upstairs sleeping area and this is the actual pool area. Okay so let's now go into level 1 and let's draw some walls. So I'm going to be using this wall command and you can just type in WA for wall and for the wall here in properties I'm just going to choose this generic 300 and I'm going to go into edit type immediately and change this to concrete because this is a concrete house. So I'm just going to go here into concrete and I'm going to find the cast in place. Here we have concrete cast in place, cast in place gray and I'm going to load it in and just go apply, OK. And again here, OK, apply, OK, again and we're done. OK, so I'm going to make sure that it goes from level 1, we're now on level 1, all the way to the level 4, because it's quite a high house. And I'm going to just draw something like this, just one wall, and then let's add the second one here, and a third one here. And for this distance I'm going to be going for 6 meters for all the living room areas, and for this little steps area or the staircase area I will be doing a 2 meter wide basically stairs or maybe 1.6 is better yeah that looks a bit nicer okay so once we have this we can now go on and do the the actual floor over here and to do that I'm just going to go here to floor and I'm going to be using a rectangle for now so just create a rectangle like so and now let's add this little terrace over here so I'm going to create something like this and then let's make sure this is at 1.2 that's quite enough and here for this distance I'm just going to go for 5 centimeters and that's just the offset for the railing and if you don't understand what I'm doing don't worry it will make sense in a bit. So go with 0.5 and now let's just split this with the split element tool and trim and extend everything in place. Okay so now we have this base level so that's done. Now let's go and create the second level over here for the upstairs room. So I'm going to go here to level 2 and I'm just going to create the upstairs room so I'm just going to go to floor, rectangle and let's model a floor like this and for this length I'm going to go with 6 meters and first let's set this up at 3 because I'm going to be adding a wall over here and now let's make sure that this is at 6 and go finish so we have our upstairs bedroom and let's go back into level 1 and create just another wall over here for the kind of finishing of the house and let's align it here to the end of the house. Okay so once this is completed we can add the staircase. Now the most important staircase is this outside stair and I'm going to be modeling that just with the stair tool and here I'm going to choose monolithic stair cast in place and here just to set up from level 1 all the way to level 4 so just choose that and for the width as you remember here I have 
1.6 so I'm going to choose 1.6 for that and here if we scroll down a bit you can see we have this desired number of steps and it's or of risers and it's 45 I'm just going to drop that to 44 just to make the division easier just go OK and now let's start placing the stairs so I'm just going to go with uh, kinda increments of 11 so 11 steps then leave 1.4 meters of kinda distance kind of a rest area then go again 11 steps then 1.4 then 11 steps 1.4 and 11 steps to the end so just finish this and now we can using the tab key we can select and delete this railing so just select it delete it delete it and let's delete this annoying annotation okay so once this is done we can use the align tool to kind of align it in place here and let's align it here as well maybe to this yeah that looks about right so let's add a door over here and to do that I'm just going to go to door or you can use the DR shortcut so just place a door kinda like that maybe move it a bit here okay so we have a door over here so now let's add this wall over here and it's just a glass wall so I'm going to go here to wall open this up and find curtain wall just use the first one that means it has doesn't have any mullions or anything like that so I'm just going to place it here like so and maybe pull it a bit towards the door okay so we have our curtain wall in the front we have our stairs and let's do the stairs to the upstairs sleeping area and to see where our actual sleeping area is we can see that by just adjusting here in the properties panel of the floor plan just change this to level 2 underlay and now you can see where our actual upstairs sleeping area floor is so we can do the stairs now so just go into stair command and here we have this cast in place monolithic stair I'm just going to go into edit type and duplicate this stair and let's call it just number two doesn't matter and now I'm just going to add here a right support for the actual railing I want concrete railing and if you've seen my tutorial on concrete railings on the stairs this is how you do it and if you haven't seen it the link to that tutorial is in the description so here I'm just going to set this to concrete cast in place that's fine and let's do 0.1 for the thickness of this railing and 1.2 for the height of the railing okay that looks right so just go okay okay that's changed okay and now we can model the stair so let's just model it like this and you just go finish and I'm just going to delete this and as you can see we have railing only on this side and it's concrete railing and we can align it to this wall and to this upstairs as well okay so once that's completed let's do the wall over here so I'm just going to type in WA for wall and let's find the 200 generic and let's change the material immediately to cast in place concrete and just go OK apply OK yeah and I'm just going to draw a wall like so and another one over here and make sure to select both of these walls and make sure they go to level 2 and now just by using the align tool I'm going to align this to that and this I'm just going to move like so and let's add a door DR is the shortcut like this and perhaps like this okay so we have some I don't know bathroom storage areas over here and now let's go into 3d to see what we have actually created and if we zoom in over here you can see these walls are kind of po poking through this floor so I'm just going to select them and make sure to attach top base to this floor and I'm going to select this generic floor go into edit type and change the material to concrete so make sure it's concrete cast in place okay okay apply and okay so once we've done that let's add the railing over here and it will be just a glass railing and let's delete this ugly annotation here as well okay let's go railing and 
do this glass panel bottom field and just create some railing like this and just go finish and there you go we have our gla glass ra rail railing over here and let's add some railing over here so let's drop down to level one and for this little terrace just do the railing and as you can see now we can put it over here that's why we left that little notch and do it like so and over here from the center up there we go and we just go finish and it kind of fits in there okay so let's go into 3d okay that looks quite all right so let's do the actual floor between the roof pool and the actual house so I'm going to go here to level 3 that's the pool level and first I'm going to do the supports and this is the tricky part so first I need to create some grids so I'm going to just type in GR for grid create one over here and let's add a few more maybe four like so okay so once we've added these grids let's move this perhaps like that now I'm just going to go into dimension tool so just type in DI and I'm going to dimension these three these four grids and just hit EQ and then that will kind of equalize these distances so I can delete this dimension just go unconstrained and now let's do the beams that are holding the actual roof pool and to do that first we need to make sure we can see those beams and for that we need to go into VR and for bottom of this view range we need to set to unlimited and go apply OK and now let's do our beams so just go into structure and hit beam or type in BM for structural beam shortcut make sure it's on level 3 and you have some steel beam selected and then just place your beam over here and if you can't see it it's kinda just a line make sure that the detail level is at high detail or at fine or medium and then you can see it so now I can just I can just copy it so just type in CO and you can copy it around again CO make sure you check multiple and then you place it like so okay and let's add some these concrete beams over here they are at level 4 and if you can see your house just again go into VR just type in VR and make sure this is set to unlimited and now you can add those beams but first we need to load them in so I'm just going to type in BM for beams go into load family drop back to metric find here structural framing concrete and check the first one open it up and I'm just going to go with this 300 by 600 millimeter and I'm just going to place one over here like this maybe I can maybe I can align it with this yeah that looks a lot better let's pull it in over here yeah that looks about right and now we can copy these beams so I'm just going to go copy make sure multiple is selected and I'm going to copy it here 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 and all the way here to the front and I kinda missed over here so I'm just going to be using the align tool to align it in place and here as well I'm just going to align it here and here so that's for the stop beam the rest of them look alright so now if I go into 3D you can see we have these beams over here and we have these beams that are holding the pool and now let's do the pool so I'm going to go to level 3 and let's create the floor of the pool which will be a glass basically glass floor so go to architecture floor rectangle and you just start off over here use this basically the glass floor in the front the, the glass wall in the front as kind of a guardrail and just go finish and for the floor I'm going to go into edit type duplicate it call it pool floor go OK edit type and then I'm just going to change this to five centimeters and this I'm going to change to some glass material let's find some glass yeah this is let's use clear glazing go OK 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 again and there you go so now if we go into 3d we have this 
glass over here but pool isn't a pool without some water in it so I'm just going to go here to component open this drop menu and go model in place so we're just going to be modeling the water so I'm just going to search for generic model yeah that looks alright go for an extrusion set the work plane with pick a plane and pick this top part of the floor and then just create a rectangle from this point all the way to this point over here that looks alright so just go finish you extend it all the way up make sure the water isn't kinda spilling over the sides and you go into material edit category and go with water so I'm just going to start drawing water okay here we have water load it in go apply okay and just go finish model so we have our water over here and if I go into realistic you can see we have our water and here we have some railing that I kinda missed so I'm just going to delete that yeah and everything else looks quite fine so I'm going to go into level 2 and let's create a camera so we can create some renderings and I'm going to kinda look straight at the object let's of, or to, at the building let's make sure that this yeah we want to capture the whole building and of course you need to do some post-production in Photoshop in order to add the actual cliff side later on so I'm just going to double tap the R button and go into rendering and let's just render this at default wait for a second yeah there you go if I zoom in a bit yeah that looks quite cool actually so I'm going to just adjust exposure for a bit to make everything look a bit brighter and a bit nicer yeah that looks cool maybe make it a bit cooler yeah that that's quite alright so just go OK and let's save it to project okay so that's pretty much it for this tutorial thank you for watching please subscribe like and share this video if you have any questions comments or suggestions for future tutorials future projects leave it in the comment section below thank you for watching and have a nice day